Hi, my name is Pilu. I bring you today a short sequence on legs. This is something that I like to do when I feel like I need some creativity on my practice, when I have a lack of motivation. I just try to play a little bit with the poses that I know and put it together in a way that it feels like I don't even have to think about it. It's just flowing into it. So bring to the front of the mat. <coughs> Feet hips distance apart or toes touching each other, heels apart. Bring the fist in between your legs and squeeze your fist. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Release the fist and keep having that sensation. So the glutes are a little bit activated. The navel is in and up, shoulders back, relax. Inhale, rise your arms up. Exhale, go forward with your chest and down. If you need, bend the knees here. We're going to stay for a couple of breaths. Bring the weight a little bit more to your toes. And work through your breath. On every inhale, we expand the ribs. We land the spine. The shoulders remain far from the ears. On every exhale, we squeeze the navel in and maybe it creates more space to go down. Bringing the palms down. Bend the knees more if you need. And step with your right foot back. Keep your toes on the mat, the heel is up. Bend the, right, the left leg and come up into a crescent pose. Squeezing the glutes a little bit, we keep going with this action of bringing the inner thighs together. And go a little bit lower. Now extending the left leg, hands on your hips, the hips remain facing the front of the mat and drop your heel down. If you need, you can do one step forward too if it feels more stable. Inhale, lend the spine. Exhale, go forward with your spine. The left hip goes back and the chest goes forward and down. Walking with the hands towards the center, bring your toes inside, lend the spine one more time. And when you exhale, down. Maybe bringing the hands in between the feet, elbows aligned with your shoulders. And walking with your hands in front, let's go to the other side. Now the, left, the right toes are facing back. Lift your left heel up, bend the right knee and come up into your crescent pose. The navel keeps going up, we lift it, ribs up. Extend the right leg. Maybe one step forward if you need to feel stability. Bring the hands on the hips, left heel down. Inhale, lend the spine, exhale, the right hip goes back, the chest goes forward. Walking with your hands towards the center, bring your toes inside. One more time, lend the spine, exhale down. Walk with your feet to get closer to each other. The, feet that remind, the toes remind out at the diagonal, bend the knees and find your squat. Hands against your knees, so we can give it some extra open. Squeeze your glutes a little bit. Bringing the right hand down, lift the left arm up. Staying here, or maybe bound your hands behind. Now hands find the floor one more time. Go facing that right knee and lift the heel up, extend the left leg and bring the right heel down. If this is not possible, you can stay with your heel up. Sit on the mat, bring the right knee down, face the left leg, inhale, and when you exhale, fall forward. Come up, open again the right hip, bring the hands on the floor, come onto your right toes, and now facing the back of the mat, find the floor with the left toes, and find your crescent pose. Bring your hands down. Walk to the center. Go to the half squat. Bring more weight on your right leg. Lift your heel up. So then we can bring the left foot back and find the squat one more time. Right, left hand down this time. Open your right hand up. You're gonna stay here. You can bond your hands behind. Hands goes in front, facing this left 
knee, lift your heel up and extend the right leg. Now go down with your left heel if it's possible. Now we walk with the hands facing the right leg, drop the left knee down, inhale in the spine, exhale, fall forward. Come up one more time. Step again on your left foot, hands in front and up. Now we keep walking with the hands. We find the floor with the right toes and find your crescent. Down to the mat, walk with the hands to the center. Bring again the weight more to your left leg. Lift your heel up. Make a space to bring the right leg back into a squat. Bringing the hands in front. Lift your hips up and walk with your feet to open up again for Prasarita Parutanasana. Lengthen in the spine. Look forward and place the left hand on the front. Open the right hand up. The hips that remind parallels to the floor, same as before, it's a twist. So it's going to happen from the waist up. Bringing the right hand down, we switch and we lift the left one up. Come back, walking with your hands towards the front of the mat, the left leg will be in front. Lift the Right heel up, land the spine, and fall forward one more time here. Keep the left right heel up, pushing forward, and the left hip is going back. Press with the mat, the mat with your hands strong, and now kick with the left leg up. Find your three leg downward dog. The right heel can go down. Lift the right heel a bit higher and bring the left knee to your chest, then towards your left hand and the left foot towards your right hand and find your half pigeon. Bringing maybe the hands on the knee and on your foot just to go a bit higher with your chest. And now drop the weight to your right, to your left leg. Extend the left leg in front, bring the right one in front, bend, and go with the left one back. Hands on the mat. Bring your hips up so as to be parallel to the mat and find your half position. Hands on the mat. Tuck your left toes. Engage your core. Lift your left heel up, your left knee up, and extend your right leg in front, in between your hands. You can always help yourself with your hand. Keep the left heel up, land the spine, look forward, exhale, fall down. Hands on the mat, and get ready to kick with the right leg up into a three leg downward dog. Open one hip on top of the other one, bend the right knee, heel to your back. Shoulders remind parallels to the mat. And back into a downward dog. Feet together, and now kick with the left one up, one hip on top of the other one, and open. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale by the mouth. Back into a downward dog, feet, hips, distance apart. We stay here for two deep breaths. Now bringing the knees to the floor, wide open, toes together, and find a child pose. Walk with your hands forward. Like if you want to extend your spine, you want to make your arms longer. Inhale through the nose, exhale by the mouth. <sighs> Lift your palms up so we stay like doing cups with the fingers, with the hands, and we walk towards the right leg. Land the spine, 
and down. Lift the chest up and walk towards the left one. Lend the spine and down. Lift your chest up one more time. Walk towards the right one. Chest up and go towards the left. Chest up and come up to sit on your heels. Lean a little bit backward, bring the feet together. Now lean forward, tuck your toes, sit back on your heels. Stay here for two breaths. If you are surprised that this pose can be very intense, it's completely normal. It's because we have a lot of tight fascia on the sole of the foot. So we try to hydrate it and as well to release the emotions that we can find there with it. Now leaning yourself forward and tuck your toes. Bring your hands next to your knees and lift your knees up. One more breath. And leaning your tail forward, coming to a tabletop. Tuck the toes and find your downward dog. Inhale, exhale, downward dog. Bring the feet together, lift your heels up, right leg goes up, come forward, weight on your hands, knee on your chest and open the leg to the side. So it's going towards the left side and bring your hips down. Come up, kick up with the right leg and down into a downward dog. Feet together again, lift the left leg up, bring the knee to your chest. Now open the leg on the side and bring the hips down. Back, kick into a three leg downward dog and back into downward dog. Walking with your feet towards to your hands. Bend the knees a little bit, grab your elbows and you can go side to side. Bending the knees even more and roll yourself up, release your hands. The last part will be the head. Take your time. Bring the feet together. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the inner thigh together. Find a focus for your eyes and lift your heels up. As high as you can. Bend the knees. Keep lifting your heels up. Go down to sit on your heels. Lift the heels up. And with control, bring the hands in front and find the floor with the heels and then with your hips. Releasing your legs in front. You can relax completely now. Bring the hands in front and we just move a little bit side to side. Maybe going a little bit lower, but the legs are relaxed. We don't, we don't need to push here into a great opening or getting very close to the floor. And come up. Now I'm going to be facing you. Open the legs as much as you can. Move the flesh away from your buttocks. And draw, um, root your heels down on the mat, really pressing down, toes towards to you, face the left leg, inhale, and when you exhale, go to the right one. Inhale, exhale, go to the left one. Last time, going to the right one. And come back to center. Bring the hands facing the left leg and just roll your hip a bit down. And up, back to center. Bring the hands to the right and now we roll the hip down, the left hip down. So my toes is touching the floor. And back to center. 
bring the right toes touching the floor, back to center, and the left one. One more time. And back. Recline back, help your knees to come back together. Bring your hands behind, move it a little bit side to side. Extend your legs. Sit, relaxing completely the legs and the hips. Bring the arms in front. Inhale, lend the spine. And when you exhale, round the back like your navel is pushing you back. You start to find the mat, each vertebra at the time. The last part will be the head. So the shoulders go down, the arms, elbows, hands, and finally head. Close your eyes. And stay in this well-deserved Javasana as long as you need. If you need some help, you can find on top of this video my guided five-minute Javasana as well. Have a lovely day. Namaste.